Here we have the AMD UV390 that we sell here by Two Way Radios, and I'm going to go over some simple menu operations to make your life a little bit easier on this unit. So, first things first, the screen goes black after you let it sit for too long, so you got to be on top of it with your button One. presses. One. So to access the menu, you press the green button right here, and the first thing I'm going to do is I want to see what actual frequencies are on the radio. I don't want to see them say, you know, channel one or channel two. I want them to say the frequencies. So what I'll do is I'll go to utilities, radio settings, and then I'll go all the way down to mode and switch to MR mode. And when I switch to MR mode, you'll see that the frequencies appear here. And as you can tell, it's 450.000. And it's a very important uh, distinction to make on these radios is when they're unlocked, they're always going to show 450 or 150, and they're not really going to work unless you're on that frequency. So how we get around this is we'll turn the radio off, press these two buttons here, the two side buttons, turn the radio on, and you're going to keep holding the buttons down until the radio fully powers on, and boom, you'll see that the correct frequencies of what you programmed with the radio are present. Okay? Press the green button again. We'll go all the way down to utilities again, Radio settings, mode, CH mode. So we're on channel mode right now, okay? One. And here's some more basic operations. So if we want to send messages for chance, you can go to right. You go menu, messages, right, and put anything you want here. Confirm. And what's going to do, I missed a step here, press send, send to your contacts, and you had programmed digital contacts in here. Right now, the only digital contact is contact one, so it'll send that little gibberish message that is made to everybody on contact one. And then it's sending it right now, message sent. Mind you, don't do this without an antenna. This is a test unit. Don't use a radio without antenna. And as you can see, sent items, sent items. I sent contact one, one G. Not to be confused with four G. We scroll up to contacts, contacts, we can see the same contact screen we were on on the messages menu. Contact one, that's, that's all we have programmed in here currently. We go to utilities, radio settings, power. We can change the power level, low, mid, high. We can set the backlight to uh, go off 10 seconds, to go away after 10 seconds instead of five seconds or two seconds. And we can change the backlight level to its brightest level or its dimmest level. As you can see, level one is pretty dim. Here's where your squelch tone is. We're able to change your squelch on the fly for each individual channel. I recommend for digital channels these radios, you use squelch level one. And for analog, you use squelch level three. That's just my personal preference, and it seems to work the best. You can go ahead and choose to lock your keypad after 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds of inactivity. And you also set a password to password lock your screen. I don't have a password, so it's awesome. the current password. It doesn't exist. So I press confirm. Wrong password. I don't have a password set. That's done through the programming software. You'll mess with the password lock there. I'll show you that in part 2. And for basic operation, that's all you're really going to need to do. Um, you can mess around with voice announcements or private call match and things of that nature, but beyond the basic operation is without a scope. And to see what firmware you're running, you can go to, from the very beginning, green button, utilities, radio info, versions. And it'll show you the firmware version as well as your the CPS version that you used to program the radio. Again, that's utilities, radio info, versions. And for GPS to get it to work, it's literally all you gotta do is put an antenna on this thing, take it outside, and press confirm on that on the GPS info. And it'll just acquire it. Um, you don't really need to do anything extra on top of that. And when it is acquired, you'll have a little uh you see an icon right there on the the uh, the earth 
it has a little little red circle next to it. It's probably hard to see over the camera, but there's a little red circle you'll notice. And when it has GPS, it will just be a globe, no red circle. And as you notice, I turn the GPS on for channel one, right? So it has a globe and I go to channel six and it's gone, it doesn't exist. I haven't turned it on yet. So if you wanna use it, make sure you turn it on. And that's all for the part one of the UV390 tutorial. And yeah, uh, if you have any questions about this thing, you can find the full manual downloadable PDF on our website. Very good manual. Go ahead and give it a shout out, give it a look. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Bye to Radio is out.